What is up guys and welcome back to the Zozums. It is me once again, the only person on this YouTube channel. Today we are back in War Thunder. Take a look at some P80 gameplay that I just had about a few hours ago. Now, I received I well, I got my P80 after grinding it out for three days in a row. Um and like just a few days ago actually. And since then I've been having a great time with it. Now, every battle I get, I usually um die after getting at least one kill and by at least one kill I mean basically no kills and then I get like the ultra match where I get two kills <laughs> however this match was different I actually did something this match and I survived through it so we are on I believe this is Rur I, I yes I believe this is Operation Rur not all that sure so don't quote me on that now I only have one upgrade for my P80, and it's the compressor, so I do have a little bit more thrust than a stock P80 would, um, but not, not, not much at all. So let's just take this time when we are getting to our speed for our zoom climb, take a look at the stats of this aircraft and where like the protection and stuff is. So the maximum speed of my one upgrade basically stock P80 is 838 kilometers per hour at sea level with a maximum altitude of 12,500 meters. Turn time is 24.5 seconds and the rate of climb is 19.1 meters a second. Now the protection on this aircraft is a bit funky. So at the rear protecting your pilot while well, your pilot's back so you don't get shot, which really isn't effective, is a 12.7 millimeter steel plate and protecting your pilot from the front is a 38 millimeter um, bulletproof glass plate. Now angled like it's such, angled like such, it is around 16 millimeters. So not a lot of things will be going through there. Um, there's also a random like steel 10 millimeter box in the front here that protects literally nothing. So that is really all the stats for the aircraft. Now let's take a look at where like the um, things are like located. I wish I could push O and show you but I'm just gonna have to like <laughs> pretend I know where stuff is. So right around here you have the engine, which is a pretty big engine if you ask me. And right in front of that you have a huge fuel tank that only carries 30 minutes of fuel. Um, well actually it carries around 25 minutes of fuel. Your wings are basically made out of fuel tanks that carry like another 5 minutes of fuel. So yeah, if you get hit in the wings you're probably gonna get a, um, well a fuel leak. Now, in the match, we do start to spot some enemies, 262 Shine Shooter, so keep a watch on Shine Shooter, by the way. He's gonna be, um, a little bit later back. And then we have a Heinkel 162, both engaging a PBJ. Now, I spot this 262 AAA low, and I decide, well, he doesn't have any support near him at the moment, so why not? Here, let's switch to my view and see what we got here. So, I decide to dive after him, in which I know that the 262 cannot outrun me, especially when I come out of a dive. So I pull back, and he doesn't make any offensive, um, well actually defensive maneuvers. And up here behind me there are two 262s, so I call for help, and we do get a few meteors to come help us. But for now, I am on this 262, and judging by the fire rate, that is a A1U4, otherwise known as a Polk starter. So, I try to fire a few shots here. One of them connects. Nothing really major. So he starts to turn. Now, he doesn't he doesn't keep turning that direction, which if he would have, he would have actually outmaneuvered me. But I probably would have gotten his tail anyway. So he pulls up into the vertical, sort of, and he pulls like a loop. Now, I pull back on his tail. Try to fire a few more rounds into him there. No hits. Fire a few more runs there, still no hits. Now he pulls up here and I'm still anticipating that he's moving up. However, he stays still and we get a pilot snipe, therefore getting our first kill of the match. Now, since we've started this, 1262 has decided to come kind of towards us, whilst basically the rest of the enemy team is either fighting off the PBJ or is in the big fur ball that is just ahead of us. So I pull around to try and push ahead on this 262, and judging by the fire rate and by I saw the um, name tag, it is an A1U4 as well. So, he pulls up with Trevino on his tail, and there's no way I'm going to catch this guy, especially when I just came out of a turn like that. 
I'm low on energy, and this thing's acceleration definitely isn't all that good. So I try to keep on his tail for a little bit longer before I decide to, well, just pull off and head towards the giant fur wall and see what I can get there. Now, this aircraft's maneuverability is rather okay. I mean, compared to a props, it's definitely not nothing to compete with, but um, it, it's okay. So, as you're seeing right here, we tried to pull off a few shots of the Horton 229 there, but we weren't able to pull that off. Now, I see this binky dude, and he's low on speed, and we have 600 kilometers per hour to catch back up on. Now, he's slowed down enough to the point we can get on him, and judging by that giant cannon barrel you can see, that is another A1U4. What is this Pokestore spam? So we fire a few shots, get him, like, a fuel leak or going, and he stays still for some reason. Now, this allows us to just plant 50 cal after 50 cal into him, and right here, we get another kill of the match. All because of pilot snipes. Now, I've been getting a lot more pilot snipes recently than, like... Well, the way that this has been going since patch 1.59 is... The first, like, right after patch 1.55 came out, it was, like, impossible to shoot down aircraft. Then, for some reason, they launched an update in which it was, like... You can shoot down every single aircraft by just, like, shooting out the tail control. Like, literally, the amount of tail control crits I got on people for a long time was crazy. But then, for some reason, like, just recently, they changed it again so that I've been getting a lot more pilot snipes instead of... Well, I've been getting pilot snipes, but I've been getting a lot more pilot snipes than actually, like, tail control crits. I've been getting a lot of, um, social gear like crits as well, so... Now, the giant furball over here has been, well, murdered by our team, and I decide to go back to base as I am kind of running low on fuel, I believe. I can't really remember. But we try to go back to base. Um, nothing really happens, just kind of the teammates milling around, searching for the last two players, which is that shine shooter and mud, a uh, mud guy, his name is mud. So we spot shine shooter up at altitude in this 262 near our base, and my immediate reaction is, well, I have 700 kilometers per hour, let's put this thing into a zoom climb and see if we can go after him. Now, one pterodactyl decides to go after him, and I shout to, out to one pterodactyl, which if I pull on the chat here, well, actually, nothing's been said at the moment, but I say, one pterodactyl, come over, we'll bring him down. And at the moment, he doesn't really see that, but in his second here, he will start to dive down. And I don't really know what to do, because this is an awkward position, because the 262 has altitude, and probably will have speed. Now, the 262 does pull off, so I don't have to worry about that little awkward situation where I probably would have died because my brain just can't handle all the pressure. So, yeah, I keep a watch on this shine shooter guy, but he doesn't do basically anything for the rest of the match. So, I decide to try and pull a zoom climb again, but I realize that my engine's gonna overheat and die if I keep this thing going for any longer, and I decide to head back to base. Now, Shine Shooter is, as a matter of fact, just running away now, but little does he know that there's a whole clump of meteors and a few P-80s just waiting to murder him. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna zoom ahead through their, um, landing, because nothing really important happens. I kind of rip off both of my flaps on the landing, but nothing at all really happens except for, like, a landing. So, the mud guy is spotted there, for a few seconds, nobody really knows what happened to him until the end of the match. Now, Shine Shooter is still just running away from the giant clump of meteors and P-80s that we have on him, and soon enough, he tries to run back to his base, and we all just strike him at the same time, and he will go down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep, see, look at that big clump just engaging him. And there he goes. He is down. Now I'm going to pull back here, because nobody knows where the mud guy is. However, somebody activates a blind hunt order just to, you know, find him. So I search my tail section just to see if he's there, and which he isn't, from what I can see. And soon enough, that blind hunt order will go up. Maybe. Any day now. Come on. So there we go. There's the blind hunt order. And he actually was on my tail six kilometers out, so I decided to turn around and try and push ahead on with him. And the P-80s, six machine guns, can't really do all that much. 
So, for some reason, he just doesn't want to engage me. He's done absolutely nothing this whole match. He has literal no points. Like, he has 20 points, and that's it. So we fire a few shots at him. He misses all his shots at us. And now, Trevino Wheeler decides to come and try and help us. Now, Mudguts decides to try and engage the PBJ without realizing that he's going to have two PADs, PADs on his tail, trying to murder him in a second. So, Mud, uh, Trevino goes in, lights him on fire, however, the 262 puts out the fire immediately afterwards. So, Trevino pulls off, and I take the opportunity to fire all of the, well, most of my ammunition to him, and pilot snipe, and off with his tail. So, that was my third kill of the match right there. I finished in second or first place, I can't remember. I will have the stack card on the screen right now, just so you can see what I got out of that match. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below, it encourages me to keep making this stuff, and if you are new to the channel, you really like this video, you can subscribe because you want to see the rest of my videos, right? And if once you're on mobile and you subscribe, you can turn on notifications so you can receive a mobile, not mobile notification every time I put out a video. If you have any questions, comments, comments, or concerns, you know, stuff like that, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll probably get back to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fun time on the battlefield, guys. Bye.